Hello friends, today we are going to describe a program of pattern printing which is uh, like this, the pattern goes like this, that is there will be one one in the first row, there will be two twos in the second row, there will be three threes in the third row and so on. So the program's question is, write a program in C to print the following pattern. So the pattern is in front of you. So this will go on as long as the user specifies the number of rows. Suppose the user specifies two, number of rows to be two, then it will be going to print this portion. And if the user specifies three, to be the number of rows so this portion is going to be printed if the user goes for the option 4 then another row containing four fours will be printed so in this way this is an interesting pattern printing program very simple and very fundamental one from from which you will uh, we will get some sort of idea in order to develop further complicated patterns uh, pattern printing programs so let us get started with this program it is a fairly simple and easy program. We start with the preprocessor directive hash include stdio.h. Then we come to the int main section and then what we declare, we declare three variables. Let's see that uh, why these three variables are being taken. So this n is taken as the number of rows to be specified by the user. User is going to specify the number of rows and that value will be assigned to this variable n. And this i is the iteration variable, j is another iteration variable, i will be used for the outer loop const uh, concept and the j will be used for the inner loop concept. So, so we get uh, this line, print uh, scan f percent d ampersand after giving a prompt to the user, enter the number of rows, user is going to print the number of rows which will be taken by this statement, scan f percent d ampersand n, after that we come to the logical section of the program. So this logical section of the program starts from this line. The for loop, outer for loop construct is written in this manner for i is equal to 1, i less than equal to n, i plus plus. So this is nothing but i will start from 1, it will go up to the number of rows specified by the user, suppose it is 2, then n will be 2, if user specifies 3, this n will be 3 and so on. And this is the incremental portion, this is the modification portion and which we have used it as an increment operation. So after that we come to the inner loop section that is the inside the for, uh, first outer for loop. We come to the inner loop, inner loop uh, goes like this for j is equal to 1, j less than equal to i, j plus plus. You can just recall from the other programs uh, in the previous uh, classes, in the previous videos uh, where we have studied that this i will be controlled by the n variable and this j will be controlled by the outer loop variable. So i is going to control this out inner loop variable. So j is equal to 1, j goes as long as uh, i is there. So i will dictate the how much j will go. So j will be checked with i then j plus plus and after that a single line inside the inner for loop and that is print a person d backslash t print a person d backslash t that means backslash t means for uh, means uh, the tab for uh, which we can print it in a very formatted uh, way like this one then will two after that two then three then three then three in in order to print it uh, in this manner so the pattern does not look clumsy and uh, not uh, very complicated and illegible so we have used this backslash t escape sequence over here and we are going to print what in in place of person d we are going to print the i value and then we come to the next line and this next line is inside the outer for loop and outside the inner for loop so this is printf new line what is this for this new line this printf new line takes care of the situation that is from one we go to the next line from this two we go to the next line from this three we are going to the next line and so on so in order to get the next line uh, in order to get the print uh, to be printed in the, order to get the pattern rather to be printed in the next line we just uh, uh, print a new line escape sequence over here and after that we are going to end this outer for loop followed by the return zero statement and that's the last part of the program that is the closing brace of the int main section and let us just put some sample values in order to uh, give a good idea about how the program works so 
let us just go for a dry run purpose. So let us say the user has given n is equal to 3, n is equal to 2 for the sake of simplicity. Suppose n is equal to 2 and this n is equal to 2 means the user wants to print this line and this line. So the pattern expected is like this. So let's see whether this program can bring this pattern into picture. So let us see, let us verify for i is equal to 1. Let us check whether i is less than or equal to 2. Yes, it is less than or equal to 2. We enter the for, outer for loop. We go to the inner for loop. For j is equal to 1, let us see that whether it is less than or equal to i. j is less than or equal to i, that is i is 1, j is also 1. So this condition is also satisfied. We come to the inner loop and print what this what is there percent d i so we are going to print i over here so let's now get it printed over here let's uh, assume that the output output is coming over here so we are going to print what is the uh, thing we are going to print over here i so i value is one and we are going to print one so one gets printed after that j is incremented j becomes two which is definitely not less than equal to 1 or that's why the condition is not satisfied it goes out the program control goes out of the j loop and comes to this line printf new line so this new line brings the cursor over here so now we go to i plus plus we increment i by unity i becomes 2 which is definitely less than equal to 2 so this condition satisfied previously this condition also satisfies and we get into the uh, get into the inner loop. So let's see whether we can enter the inner loop. J is equal to one, less than equal to i. Yes. So we get inside the inner innermost loop and we print the i value. What is the i value? I value is two. So we get the two printed in the next line because the control passed to the because the cursor passed to the next line. So this two will be printed over here. After that, j will be incremented, j becomes 2, less than equal to 2, condition satisfied. Again, we come to the uh, printf line and print i once again after a tab. So this tab will place this 2, some 5 spaces uh, on the right. So this i will be again printed over here and then j will be incremented, j becomes 3, less than equal to 2. No, the condition is not satisfied. The control of the program goes out of the j loop. And then we come to this new line. So the cursor goes to the next line. So let us see by incrementing i by unity what we will get. i was 2 previously. Now i becomes now i becomes 3. So i is definitely not less than equal to 2. So this condition is not satisfied. The control of the program goes out of the outer loop. We come to this section, return 0 and then closing brace. So let's see what gets printed as an output. So the output has been printed in this manner. So 1, 1 in the first row and 2, 2's in the second row. And our expected output was something which is very similar to this one. And exactly, rather exactly, this printout, this output will be uh, equal to this expected result. So our program runs the way as it is expected, as it was expected rather, and this program gives you the idea of the fundamental pattern printing concept in C using nested loops. So if there is any queries or doubts relating to this program, you can just post your queries or doubts on the comment section so that I can address